everyone. I'm good. I'm done already. I had to fix my hair. You still have a look at my I said, somebody gonna say something. I'm just gonna. How long we gonna stay in the camera? Alright, go ahead. Hi, everyone. Your mommy is funny. Alright. Hi, you guys. How everyone's doing today? Hopefully, everyone's day is going well. In today's um what can i call this it's not a vlog it's a sit down and i'm basically going to be addressing our um trip to africa um the gambia specifically and uh we wanted to speak about how our entry process went going into the gambia and so today i have with me jay and I have Zabe. Hello. And of course, we have the cutie pie. Jakaya. We have Jakaya. Say hi, Jakaya. The newest addition to the family. Okay, so basically, we're all going to give our, yeah, like our experience coming into the Gambia for the first time. Okay. I was asking what the beginning from like. Like we left? Nah, the, the entry. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, boom. We get in there. I'm thinking we already paid for the visa. Cause she's talking about twenty dollars. Boom, paid for the visa. That was to get into the country, which is what yeah. happened. And then I told mommy and Queen, I was like, it's only twenty, it's only $20. Yeah, they was like, like, <laughs> like she got all the information. That's what they told me. They told me it's only twenty dollars, but you but they meant to get in the country. To get there, like I was already there. Um. Right. Okay, yeah. so Queen. Oh, uh, so my in so basically the entry, um so what we had to do we had to take a COVID test just to get on a flight. And then when we got to the airport like got to Gambia, we had to take another COVID oh, test. No. Zayla didn't have to take one because she had the vaccine. But me and mommy had to take another one before we actually got to Please. to the point to pay twenty dollars. We couldn't even get there yet. Then we went to pay our twenty dollars and then we went to the um the guard gate we had to Give them my passports and you know they talk about the visa okay so yeah so pretty much um like zayla said zayla came and she um told us that th it was twenty dollars <laughs> <laughs> exciting <laughs> sorry you guys because because mommy said it was this is <laughs> first i did my research okay and i told zayla and Kui, i said it's going to be $60 for the visa. That's pretty much all I knew is that it was going to be $60 for the visa. So when Zayla came to me and said that she paid $20, <laughs> I was so excited because I'm like, oh my God, like it's only $20 and that's it. When I get to another section, the guy is asking me like for more money and we had to pay Okay, yeah, because I had to pay for all three of us because Zayla had not. Yeah, she, Zayla had. <laughs> Zayla had not paid um, yet either, and so I had to pay for all three of us basically. Yeah. But they had already let Zayla go through the gate, and so I assumed. No, she didn't go through the gate. She was at the baggage claim. Yeah, baggage, but like, she didn't get to the. Yeah, but she was past the gate. But where we well, were yeah, behind the other gate, we was able to pass that one too. No, we wasn't. At they first, we were still at the window. Remember? Yeah, we but was they let me pass. The you well, you last. Well, I'm saying at first, me and you were because we took the test and then yeah, Zayla was already right there. Okay, Wait. so Zayla was already behind the little area where we had to pay for the visa. Uh -uh. Okay, so um, pretty much I'm sitting, I'm standing um, at the, the booth and he's asking me for the money. And so I'm like, well, my daughter just paid $20 to get in while we have I'm like, why are we having to pay more money to get in? So at this point, I'm getting a little frustrated because I'm like, well, she's... And I'm not trying to, like, blow her up or anything like that, but I'm just generally confused about why I'm having to pay this money. He was like, well, did you ask the guy what the $20 was for? And I was like, well, no, because my daughter said that she paid $20 for the visa. <laughs> Sorry, and we're laughing because... You have the, uh, it wasn't funny at the time. Right, it wasn't funny at the time. Because the events that led up right, after that uh, it was unfortunate. Was very no, annoying. No. It was very like because yeah. it was a bad start. So mommy was the right, so she was confused. Yeah, it was a bad start. So mommy's confused. Yeah. 
Because they're the confused her. Right. No, because the so people confuse me. <laughs> like, so mommy never said right. we gotta pay twenty dollars to get right? so into boom. the country. Okay, let me just say that real quick. Okay, so that's the part I did not know. I did not know we had to pay twenty dollars to get into the country, and I didn't know we had to pay the sixty dollars. I didn't know we had to pay six dollars for the visa, but I didn't know we had to pay twenty dollars. So once she paid twenty dollars and said it was twenty dollars. I assume that okay somehow they reduced the price yeah. and they're like, all paying twenty dollars boom we're good because I let them know I said hey listen the visa is gonna be sixty dollars please make sure you have your cash even though they will discount that I said that but I told them that it was gonna be no, I, never said that. I told them it was gonna be sixty dollars and Zayla gave me the money in my card which yeah. I did not know yeah. because you needed the cash in your but hand. But we didn't know that this cash. before we, we even told left. You that we gave you the money. But I didn't like, know. I thought they were giving me money for mommy something. Mommy was. Else. <laughs> so their mommy wasn't paying attention. No. She wasn't I thought they was giving me the money for something <laughs> else because I specifically hey, told them. Hey, hey, that they needed sixty dollars in cash, and it's so like and we kept telling her it's on your car, my sister. Right, but I didn't. I'm, I don't know. I didn't hear that part oh, yeah, because okay. there was a lot of confusion going on at the time, and all I just knew <coughs> at that time, I thought that they were trying to scam me. I'm not gonna so. Go mommy was getting yeah. frustrated, so she goes to the ATM. <laughs> Guy, if you sit down, because that's all you wanted to do was throw the phone. <laughs> like what? All right. All right, so mommy had ended up getting real frustrated, and so when the guy was like, "Oh, she need to go to the ATM," we'll do. Mommy goes to the ATM to get the money, right? While mommy comes back from the ATM, goes into the room, says she left a card at the freaking ATM in the ATM machine. Y'all. So now mommy's bugging out. Damn, my card, my card, my card. The whole time just like, just calm down. Like, we just got, like, the people are explaining, we got paid for the visas. I'm understanding they got paid for the visas. We got to get the money out the ATM. She, like, it's just like everything. I don't know what was going on. Like, I don't know if it's because they just breached it. They had the jet lag or something. But they definitely was not calm about the situation. Well, I wasn't calm about Ooh, the situation. Mommy, well, Zayla was like, right. Zayla was nonchalant. <laughs> I and was mommy was head. freaking out but because she was being level-headed she thought she lost her car so for a whole hour we, it was an hour it was definitely an hour it was like a half an hour it was an hour it, it was, was, an, was, an, was, was definitely a, we was definitely an hour to no, an the hour. airport was closing y'all yep yeah. almost 12 like mm -hmm. uh huh so we was there because mommy we had to go upstairs before her car missing do 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 so the whole time the people know we looking for her car she goes back into the room where she was to pay for the visas. The man said the car was in the seat she was sitting in. No, but like, the thing is, the mommy thing. said she went in to, to look before she. So no, it wasn't. It, but it was down in the chair, in between the chair thing. He must have just. When I say I need to look around the that. chair. No, I mean, hey, sweetie, this is not the um the, the video for that. <laughs> <laughs> Might even got to turn it to um drugs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My okay. I had I'm I sorry. I I stop, stop, stop. Uh, no, what's funny is I needed to relax after when, that. When you were asking the guys, they was like, "It doesn't take the card. It doesn't take the card." The whole time you go back up there, and it takes, and it the, takes card. the card. Right. And they're like, and "No, I don't know what you're part. talking about." And I'm like, "Yo, oh, you talking about at the hotel? No, no at, the at the airport. Because they're like, oh, it's like they it's thought not, it was an in and out quick. Right. right. It literally takes it sucks it in, and then it gives it back out at the end. Right. Yeah, but and they was mommy like, she got a car stuck right. in there. Right, okay, but that was the point. I, no, I didn't think somebody stole it. I'm just she thinking, like, you know, she okay, well, it. my card is lost. Like, somebody, of course, if somebody uses the ATM, and if my card is in there, and it is poking out now, somebody place. can go ahead and take the no, card out. So, was you're in a whole nother country on a whole you know, nother continent. You're thinking she that, was not you know, easy um, in and out. basically, you know, possibly your card is missing now. And so yes, I was freaking out for various reasons, and um, maybe I could have definitely handled the situation a little better. But you have to realize, I'm this. All, I have one. I have more than one card, but I have this card has most all the money for this trip, for the hotel, for everything. So naturally, I'm going into hyper mode, wondering where my card is. So thank God the card was. Um, Found, but that wasn't the situation. The situation, um, if I could just run it back real quick, is that okay? When you come into, you go into the Gambia. I don't know how it's gonna be now, but you take your test. If you don't have a 
COVID, but you still have to show that you have the COVID test, um, COVID shot, of course. Um, you take the test, then you go and you have to pay the $20 entry fee. Then you pay a $60 for a five-year visa fee, which I think is spectacular. <coughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, that's that's the whole point of this video. Um, and so we all, as well, we would like to talk about. I um, want to talk about the exit. But we got um, the Gambia. Did you be skipping the minute? What's the middle? The trip. Mother no, trip. we're not talking about the trip. Oh. We all. This video was specifically for the entry into Gambia oh. and the fees and everything oh, and the okay. process that I didn't know about. So all right. So else, all right. So the exit. You know. I don't know. I don't know if um if they're gonna have Corona tests when we go back again. But for one thing, they're twenty five hundred Delasis per Corona test, and you have to go to the bank, pay the bank um the money. I think you have to first take it out the ATM, then go to the bank, pay for the COVID test. Then you have to go to a whole nother site, show them that you paid the bank. Take the COVID test, and then you have to have somebody from Gambia's phone number, cause because or they're from, or you have yeah, to have a Gambia yeah number. a Gambian number or somebody with a Gambian number mm -hmm. to put on your test to link it to the test in case you know you need any information or anything. Um, then after that it's the leaving. You have to pay a thousand dollars to leave. Yeah, another thousand dollars. No, twenty dollars. Another thousand, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. American. A thousand dollars. Delasi. Right. So if you got the losses, you're looking at it like, you know, I'm giving out another thousand dollars. That's why, you know, even though it's twenty dollars American, it's still like that. Right. And luckily we had um, the cab driver. He was very, very helpful because oh, yeah. um, he stayed with us um, during the test. He gave his number mm -hmm. for us to be able to take the test. And so he was very, very um, helpful in that process. And so, you know, I really, I can't remember his name. Omar. Okay, his name is Omar, another Omar. Yes. And um, so, yeah, so that process was it. very, very easy. It was very, very quick, except for the bank, uh, which was very um, an unusual um, banking situation. But I think that it was very orderly, and it went very quickly as well. Um, 20, so, minutes. yeah. It was like an hour process altogether. Give it to you. Yeah, the bank was the most, the, the longest. Um, the, the doing the filling out for the 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 code to take the COVID test and all that. That was very quick. That was oh gosh, quick. I would not believe it. So why I went between they went they went first, I went second, my mother went third. Why they both got their results the same day? I'm waiting for my results. My results don't come. The results come. They don't come. All right. So next day, I guess for one, we didn't know that. All right. So guys, if you're flying out from Gambia, no, the airport closed at 9 o'clock a.m. So if, even if your flight takes off 10, 11, 12, whatever, be there by 6, 7, 8, before 9, way before 9. Way Especially before if you got, just in case you have any issues like right. we did, they're talking about, they're trying to close the door, they're talking about, oh, we're closing, we're closing, we're closing. I don't have my test, so at first they won't let me through. I'm like, listen, this is my flight, y'all not gonna leave me back, like I'm going on the flight. So the, the doctor guy who um, was at the airport, um, you could the Latin. So um they like, oh, all right, the guy was like, all right, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call, whatever. So that when I get first the the, the door that they're trying to close me in. So we paid the twenty dollars for everybody. Oh. Then we go to another gate park and they like she they only almost didn't want to let me through there. And I'm like, they're like, all right, just go ahead and let her through. Um, the guy was like, I have the test to you before you take off. So I'm like, all right. So we get through that. We get through the um, gate check. We go through the security gate thing again. Now we get to the people that check your, your itinerary, your ticket and all that. Now they're telling me I can't get on a plane because I don't have my COVID test. So now he has to call the doctor guy who's getting my test results. who had to tell him to let me on the plane. I kid y'all not. 20 minutes before this plane is taken off, my test come. 20 minutes. Because they knew that when I got to Turkey, I was going to need my freaking test. Like, I said, you know what? These people were trying to stress me out today. Like, I can't get on my flight on my COVID test. I know I'm negative. If the people next to me negative, how can we not be three negatives? Like, just come on, let's go.
So that's the only part that just like, you know, freaked me out a little bit. Like, oh, like I love Gambia, don't get me wrong, but we don't have nothing built out there yet. Nothing solidified. It's like, I would have just been out there on a whim. It was not going to work for me. I mean, I could have probably stayed with somebody just said that wasn't going to work for me. I have my baby here. I, yeah. I was just about to just go crazy. But other than that, it was pretty, you know, if you did have your results, it goes pretty smooth. You, know. you have to take a bus to the plane. And that's about it. Yeah, so um, pretty much Sorry, like um, Jay said, just ensure that you are at the airport early um, and ensure that you will have your results. If they tell you a specific time that you should be checking for your results and you don't see your results, then you should definitely be on the phone calling yeah. constantly yeah. Um, in which to... Yeah, in which to obtain your results because you do not want um, to get to the airport and realize that um, you cannot get on your flight because um, your results is not it. And that's only saying that if I'm not sure what's happening in every part of the world right now as far as um, having to take this test and different things like that. Um, I know a lot of things have changed here um, in Watch America, so quite possibly things are changing in other parts of the world, but um, just in case, of course, you're going to do your research before you go to, um, you know, any place if you have not been there before, and um, you will want to know what are the, um, you know, the rules and the regulations and different things like that. Um, here's another thing that I wanted to say. Um, it just was in my head. Uh, I think that's, for me, I think that's, um, really pretty much it. I just wanted you guys to know that there's a $20 entry fee, there's a $60 visa fee, five years, and then there's another $20. And this is only coming from America. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about when you're go coming from anywhere else. Like my daughter said, it's a thousand delasi um, for U.S. That's um. Go now. Leave quick. You're just the aggression. All right. So Jay's daughter, she's not really happy with us doing okay, this video. Her granddaughter. Um. She could say her granddaughter. But she's a baby <laughs> child. Oh my gosh, she's looking right. And then let them know. Yeah, so. And you're part of me. Yeah, get you know. Yeah. So, um, you guys. Not you. <laughs> I'm talking to the people. Oh, look at the people, guy. Say hey, people. Hey, little shy. Okay, she's not shy. <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, so that's it. So, like I said, you know, so that's coming from this way but you know if you know um or if you research what the lossies are for your particular um dollar or whatever you call it peso or however um then you will know what it is that you have to pay uh, for pesos uh, what it is called she peso. <laughs> trying to say chinese no, they got yin. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So, so, whatever it is, know. whatever the money, the cash, the moolah, okay, the cream, the marrow, the cream, yeah, maybe. whatever it is, you know, might be you have, you'll, you'll do your own research and you'll it's find out. Um, I just didn't know about the thousand dollar Delasi. And that is the main thing that totally threw me off. And so you now I'm glad that I know what it yeah, is. And that way I can go ahead and, yeah. You know, um, share the information with others. Yes. So, because yes. But overall, um, like Jay said, I absolutely loved and adored the Gambia. Can't wait to go back. Yep. Um, we have already pretty much set a month that we're going to go back within mm -hmm. this year. And so, yeah, that's how much we loved it. We met some really great people. And, um, yeah, we can't wait to, you know, get back there and reconnect with everyone. So, yes, definitely. We cannot wait. We 
be back in that sun. Oh, another thing, sun tan lotion. Listen. Oh, and the, what we y'all. Oh, and the food boys. Oh, and food boys in the bed. Make sure y'all please bring those. Cause we have a train. Woo woo woo. Was my stomach on the rocks yeah. for like three weeks straight? Like three weeks strong, y'all. I got back to America still hurt mm -hmm. like. Um, Zayla, any last words? Um, first of all, the flight in general, coming back was worse Zayla for me. Alright, but coming back, we were just talking about the flights. What are you talking about? No. Yes, it was. Jeez. It was the exit and arrival. Mm -hmm. Anyways, the exit was um, more annoying because like, I knew we could have had a shorter flight. So after that, it was just like, wow. Now I'm just on this long flight when it could be shorter. Yeah. Yeah, um, Zayla didn't enjoy the food um, from the flight. Oh, it was so disgusting. Um, Joey, we, we enjoyed it. Like, I ate it. I ate everything. First of I all, all, I, I got the first, I'm a human being. I got to eat. It was yeah. so You nasty. think I'm about to be on a nine flight and I eat breakfast all day? The eggs were absolutely disgusting. I ain't gonna lie, the flight there was better than the flight back, which. Cause even the food back to from um Turkey going to America, we had I think beef or something, a beef meal, and I tore that thing. I mommy might show y'all. Hey, 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 I used to think they used to be joking about the. But mommy. Well, really, if you guys want to see girl. some of our um, trip to the Gambia, the yeah. I already have a video up. I will oh put God, that, that in. So the um. Peach. But Gambia, oh, no, on the Gambia, no beef Gambia, Gambia, that food was. Now they know they could do better for them. It's people. cooking. Yeah, but this video it's is cooking. more or less pertaining yeah. to the entering and exiting of right. the Gambia. All right, you guys. If Zayla doesn't food. have anything left and Jay doesn't have anything left to say as far as say the bye entering bye. and exiting um, of the bye Gambia, bye. then we're going to bid bye. you guys adieu. And you guys enjoy the rest of this day. You guys enjoy the rest of this yeah, week. Thing. You guys enjoy the rest of this month. Bye -bye. Enjoy the rest of this year Bye -bye. and the rest of this yeah. lifetime. Okay. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. say Let's give me a seat. Go mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Aw, you're so sweet. <laughs>